Hello everyone, you're listening to the Socially Desi Show, the podcast that motivates you to live, create and inspire. If this is your first time here, welcome. On our show, we discuss tips and strategies with our guest speakers on how to tackle problems related to personal growth, mental health, relationships, business and entrepreneurship and health and fitness. So hit that subscribe button and go check out our website at sociallydesi.com for more of such content. Today I am joined by Dr. Arbinder Singhal. He is the co-founder and CEO of Fitterfly. Fitterfly is a health tech startup operating in the space of digital therapeutics, which is called DTX, a subset of digital health. DTX is a convergence of digital technologies with health, lifestyle, coaches and assisted devices to enhance the efficiency of healthcare delivery and improve outcomes for patients with chronic diseases. With that, I welcome Dr. Arbinder on the show. Hi doctor. Hi Anurag, uh, it's fantastic to be here. Thanks for inviting me. The pleasure is all mine, Dr. Arbinda. Thank you so much for doing this with the Socially Desi show. Uh, so doctor, uh, to our audience who are not aware about your professional journey, why don't you tell us a bit about, you know, how your journey has been so far? Um, so I grew up in a small town in uh, Punjab and then, uh, you know, at that time in 1990s, uh, early 1990s, there were two professions available, either become a doctor and engineer. Uh, Maths was not my forte, so I chose to become a doctor. And it was a 13-year long training where I went through MBBS, then Master's in Surgery, then Master's Mm -hmm. in Child Surgery from Allen Institute of Medical Sciences. Then I worked in US uh, learning uh, kidney surgeries for children, came back in 2006. Uh, Started working as a typical doctor, a very unidimensional life, uh, working in the topmost institutes. Mm -hmm. But then uh, 2009-2010 stumbled upon uh, technology, fell in love with technology, and I could see that the world around us was changing with internet. And uh, set up a telemedicine company, giving second opinions to patients, really struggling with credible advice. Okay. At our peak, uh, we had like uh, 350 doctors from across the globe mm-hmm. giving second opinions to patients who have been either recommended, say, heart surgery or knee replacement or just cancer. Uh, but way back in 2011, 2012, broadband was an issue. There were no apps. Mm. People did not have smartphones. People did not even have like digital payment mechanism like we have so simply now scan a QR code and make payment. True. true. So we struggled. Uh, It was a great journey where as a from a doctor, I started learning about technology, understanding the basics of business. Uh, Finally, that company was acquired by 1MG, which is uh, one of the Mm. top e-pharmacies. And from there, uh, I was also involved in setting up a couple of hospitals, which were quite profitable, doing well. So all along, I was practicing as a doctor one or two days a week doing surgeries. And most of my time was going into understanding technology and uh, understanding business. But in 2016, 2017, that's when I had my real calling. I thought, now I have this mm-hmm. amazing experience of working as a doctor and this experience of running a startup, uh, which had its challenges. Now, how do I put this all this learning together uh, at the age of 40 to do something which will be really relevant, really impactful and would be a statement of my life? And that is how Fit of Fly came about. And I started you know, uh, getting immersed into the whole segment of wellness, preventive health. Uh, and that's what Fitterfly, uh, you know, is all about. So tell us a bit more about Fitterfly and, you know, what are the USP, what are the programs that are there uh, under the Fitterfly banner? Yeah, so Fitterfly j- journey has not been very straightforward, Anurag. And I think that's a mm-hmm. message which I wanted to give out to your platform also. You know, uh, we all start with great passion and uh, great entrepreneurial spirit. And we all True. fail to see... Uh, the failures which can happen. So yeah. uh, when we started Fit of Fly, we started working with the theory that for making India healthy in 2040, 2050, we need to start with the children right now. Okay. And myself, since I've been uh, managing children's health and doing surgeries on them for so many years, I had a deep understanding of how a child's body work, works. So we started at setting up a technology portal where we could assess a child's nutrition, which is how much of iron, zinc, protein, calcium they're having if it's good for their health Mm -hmm. and also understanding their fitness suppose a child is able to run 100 meters in so many seconds or able to do so many sit-ups or push-ups or muscle strength so we created this beautiful algorithm uh, to understand child's health and generated a report card also for that okay but uh, you know working with schools was a challenge at that time none of the schools want to pay you for any service (laughs) and uh and uh, so for we tried for two years and, and we really tried our best. I went to the schools across India, uh, almost 20 cities, sat outside principal's offices for two, two hours, distributed pamphlets outside uh, sporting goods stores, 
uh, went to the newspapers early at 4:30 in the morning at railway station put the pamphlets i was really driven for almost one right. year i did that yeah. but then i realized that the world is not ready for child wellness a fat child or thick a child who's overweight is really not a concern for their parents true <laughs> so uh, that was a you know uh, but then the database and uh, uh, you know software which we had built for children could easily be changed into something which was helping adults and we were getting lot of inquiries from adults about their wellness and at the same time i was diagnosed to have pre diabetes now uh, oh, okay. i i have a strong family history of diabetes almost 70% mm-hmm. of family members including my dad my brother my cousins my mamas everybody has diabetes so thick punjabi genes everybody okay. has diabetes okay. so i was diagnosed to pre diabetes and i thought that i was keeping fit i was exercising i was eating healthy mm-hmm. so what we did was the software which we had made for assessing the nutrition i said I w- i'm going to use it on myself and see what i can do for my pre diabetes like not go into diabetes okay um, so i got hold of a device called continuous glucose monitoring device which essentially takes a blood sugar reading every 15 minutes uh, mm-hmm. and it it can wear on on your arm it's like a sticker and uh, so in a period of 14 days you get this amazing graph of 1300 blood sugar readings so what i did for myself along with my uh, co-founder uh, jayesh who heads the technology we made a software just for myself that okay let me see which foods are raising the blood sugar how much and i researched right. across the globe there was nothing such thing like this available so we thought let's use it on arbinda single as the first guinea pig and mm-hmm. see how it works and i found out amazing things in rag you know i found out that if i have certain foods at certain times of the day they raise my blood sugar but other times they don't similarly every time i was eating wheat or bread or maida uh, my blood sugar used to cross 150 but with rice they were not crossing mm. similarly if i was eating mango in the afternoon post lunch post dinner in the evening my blood sugar has crossed 150 but early in the morning before workout even if i ate two mangoes my blood sugar didn't cross even 140 so i i really hacked my way through understanding how my body was working and completely reversed my pre diabetes in 3 months blood sugars came normal i lost mm. weight i was sleeping better than ever it was a life changing moment for me and then some of my friends said oh what are you doing i said i'm doing this and they said okay we have some patients can you take them on a platform i said we haven't thought about diabetes i'm just doing it for myself right and uh, that's when it really struck me that you know if you look at a person with diabetes what's his life cycle he goes to a doctor doctor says that you have diabetes uh, you know here is your blood test showing diabetes uh, you know, take this medication eat healthy um, avoid sugar exercise daily go for a walk uh, don't take stress and come back in 3 months that is what 99% of the people with diabetes get and right right i thought there was there was such a big gap out there like doctor doesn't know what's happening in those 3 months patient is not getting any support uh, about managing he really doesn't know what is healthy for him or not he doesn't get any support to get a exercise plan nobody is motivating him he is having all these mental troubles that's what's going to happen to him nobody is supporting him so just gathered a team of like 5 6 people i said let's do something about it and see how the patients are behaving is it really helping them can we achieve better outcomes than the traditional method and in the first 50 patients almost 30% reverse their diabetes like their diabetes is no longer there they cut down their medications completely and then a lot of them uh, started losing weight they started sleeping better their stress levels came down and from there our journey really started this was in december of 2019 okay. and we haven't looked back and we realized that the real calling is the outcomes now, at fitofly i tell everybody one thing we have 140 employees now Mm-hmm. the single thing which they have to think every morning is how are we making to how how are we going to improve the outcomes of millions of people out there every single day so uh, at fitofly for us only one thing matters are we relevant to the outcomes are we helping people achieve better health outcomes so that perspective that remains a usp the single more most important core value if we have to make a decision is it going to help the patient achieve better outcome then let's do it if it's not then it is like should have could have but it's not a must have so it's re- it's really interesting because uh, when i look at uh, digital technologies and i see them converging with uh, health and lifestyle and when you use these kind of devices like you said you know uh, a digital monitoring device for glucose uh, you are monitoring that uh, you know levels every 15 like 15 minutes right every 15 minutes every 15 your, minutes uh, yeah yeah right yeah. so so what you do with that data really matters right and uh, that yeah, is where exactly. i think uh, uh, that is where i think dtx and uh, you know the technologies that you work with uh, in improving like you said your motto is to make sure that uh, 
if if that particular decision you take in the morning really improves uh, the health and lifestyle of your patient or your customer uh, i think that is really interesting to me and uh, i'm sure to all our listeners out there it must be really interesting I, i'm sure a lot of uh, them would be hearing it for the first time you know what sort of a device this is so guys um, a quick quick uh, update uh, my dad is actually uh, on uh, you know uh, fitofly's program uh, he's been uh, onboarded last week and uh, he's going to be sharing his thoughts uh, on an upcoming episode or maybe on our instagram uh, soon uh, and he'll share his own thoughts as how his journey has been and uh, so doctor uh, you know that particular uh, review will definitely come out with my father later but would you like to share uh, one case study with you uh, of any of your maybe you know uh, uh, patients who uh, really uh, you know uh, benefited out of the program and how oh, how was fitfly able to uh, you know help help uh, that particular person in their uh, health health journey um, sure uh, anurag uh, uh, surely so uh, one of the things which i wanted to before i go into the case study i said mm-hmm. uh, you know besides capturing this wonderful data you know devices are dumb they will throw wonderful data but as you rightly pointed out what you do with the data is what defines the outcome like doctors will yeah. get an ecg but if we understand what to do after the ecg is what makes the difference right true uh, so what we realized at fitfly was also after our first 50 patients that that lot of them have psychological issues like Uh, deep seated psychological behavioral issues which are not allowing them to achieve the outcomes which they really mm. deserve and lot of people are not into fitness so we created this holistic care platform where beyond the blood sh- blood sugar monitoring and driving insights from it we also offered a very holistic kind of program with mental well being with a psychologist uh, evaluating that uh, and also a physiotherapist actually checking your fitness on a video call and then prescribing a fitness plan specific for diabetes for you and then we went into the space of very personalized care powered by technology now how this help was uh, I, i remember that about uh, about a year and a three months back sometime in the month of december after first 50 patients uh, one of my doctor friends dr teja latia here actually she called us that she i have this young woman who's like 35 years old okay uh, recently diagnosed uh, diabetic and uh, she is struggling with controlling her blood sugars and she wants to conceive like she wants to have a child Mm-hmm. but i cannot let her go into pregnancy until less her blood sugar is stable and uh, she was also receiving infertility treatment at that time okay now this was like the top of the complex cases for you you, you are like you have a woman who's who's motivated and wants to have a child but she really needs to do it quick like she, that the bomb is really kicking for her in terms of having True. a child at the right age Hmm. so we took her into a platform and a very compliant girl and uh, you know within about 3 months her diabetes levels came down to absolutely normal and her uh, medications were cut down by almost 50% and okay. she conceived she conceived in like 3 or 4 months wow, wow. <laughs> and uh, the family was extremely happy overjoyed they gave us a video testimonial and all those things but then the strangest thing happens uh, happened uh, what we were also doing we were also toying with the idea that if there are women with pregnancy uh, do they have needs which our platform can fulfill like are mm. they struggling with low hemoglobin levels are they struggling with the right kind of advice for exercise eating healthy i know pregnancy is a wonderful journey if you look at pregnancy it's so structured every week some changes in the baby and the body happen right. now how does a digital therapeutic help you plan that journey in a healthy way so we we just sat together three of us we said let's create a pregnancy program for this one particular woman and ask her if she's interested she said of course okay. i'm interested uh, so she she was actually the first patient into a pregnancy program and she went through the pregnancy and delivered a healthy baby and then she called us now I have a baby can you take care of my baby because i read on internet that you guys were doing something for the children mm. two years back i said right. wow <laughs> so now her child is like 3 or 4 months old uh, like uh, these kind of stories when we wake up in the morning and we understand that you know this patient is asking us uh, asking us to be a part of their life it is just amazing and this woman was so nice she sent us pictures of their her baby her husband recorded a video she recorded a video she sent us and now we have like close to 100 women on our uh, uh, pregnancy program about i think thousands of patients on the diabetes program mm. and every morning when you get up and uh, so we have something called celebrating outcomes okay. every month okay so it is today actually it's the last friday of every oh. month between 4 okay. to 5 what we happen is we take the top 10 cases where we really made a difference to people's life and the first first line coach the dietitian or the physiotherapist or psychologist she presents this case to the full company 
All right. so even the even the first line warriors like who are the call center employees or the doctors or the technology guys who are coding the full platform mm-hmm. they get to know how how important their work is right in this whole wheel because sometimes when you do a startup people don't understand how is their work important now right. when they see that okay this was a woman who had unstable blood sugar and on the app she could see what what happened to her blood sugar then she ate healthy then she delivered a baby baby came into this program then mm-hmm. the whole life circle starts making sense to them and that is how uh, you know the most wonderful thing which keeps us up all very energetic and happy is that every single person who's in this journey involved in the fit of life journey as an employee can see the difference which they are making to a person's life every month true and true. we share this openly in the all hands uh, company called celebrating outcomes meet every every month where 10 cases are presented wonderful wonderful and and the beautiful part of this is that everything is getting connected digitally right yes so i yes. can be i can be uh, at the far end of the world and i can still be connected with fitterfly i can still be connected with the dietitian the nutritionist everybody in your organization uh, and and uh, you know still get the benefits out of it and that's what i love about technology that's what i love about digital platforms and uh, a few a few months back i did an interview with uh, one of the founders of navia life care they were doing something really wonderful with uh, you know digitizing the whole uh, you know medical uh, infrastructure uh, be it uh, you know different prescriptions getting them uh, uh, digitally onboarded so uh, i like the way you are also you know helping uh, patients uh, customers you know take care of their health uh, digitally so uh, tell tell uh, something about uh, you know uh, the advantages of uh, managing one's health and lifestyle digitally because a lot of our audience you know i feel um, when i see people you know in fact if, even if i look at my parents also um everybody is accustomed to that um, you know offline way of treatment the traditional way of uh, getting treatment like you said you know you go to a doctor he gives you some prescription then you come back after 3 months so uh, what are the advantages of uh, managing one's health and lifestyle digitally especially in 2021 and beyond um so this is a wonderful question anurag and thanks for asking this question because i have seen the change in my dad my dad is now 78 he has been mm-hmm. having diabetes for 34 years and he says i know everything about diabetes so what i did was i put him on our program i said you know deepak tale andhera nahi hona chahiye and every <laughs> time i could i could see him that post having uh, lunch and dinner mm-hmm. he would feel uh, he will feel very sleepy in about 30 minutes okay. and i used to ask him dad have you checked your post meal blood sugars maybe this because of that but my dad is physics professor earlier principal you know these people are the most reluctant to make a change <laughs> Now what yeah. DTX did for him was an eye opener. I said what I'm going to do is I'm going to fo- feed you three four different kind of lunch over the period of next three four days. Okay. And we'll see what happens to your blood sugar with each of these lunches and what happens to your sleep quotient like how sleepy you feel after each of the lunches. And you know he realized what I was telling him all along every time he's just eating plain plain wheat roti without any salad mm. and two or three of them his blood sugar is crossing 180. Oh, and he okay. goes into absolute sleep state like he's mm. he's just talking and sleeping so the moment i showed him his data he made a change he cut down his wheat he added his salad he added started adding nuts and uh, you know um, uh, flax seeds and everything into his lunches and he's he's much more active post meals now so for a, even a person of 78 years old the moment you show them the data which is relevant to them they make a change the problem with the usual digital health which we talk about and it's a much abused word the most digital health companies yeah. are offering only discounts they are offering only some kind of offers or connecting you to a healthcare provider but they're not making your data back to you they're not giving your data True. back to you so that you can mm-hmm. make that change in your lifestyle now where do we all struggle it's not that uh, everybody is unhealthy it, there are certain patterns behavior to our food to our exercise which are making us unhealthy and if dtx platform can give you the data back and tell you this is what you need to do that is the right place of technology in our lives it's not about uh, finding a discount on medication or arranging a cheaper doctor consult it is about getting your data back so that you can make a change and become true. healthier true so that is the first advantage which you get with the dtx platform that you get your data back in a meaningful way which can help you get to a healthier life the second biggest thing is now if i have to if i'm a person with diabetes i have to go to a doctor of course but now the doctors are also available on uh, telemedicine platforms thanks to pandemic 
or no thanks to pandemic whatever people have adopted mm-hmm. at least that part but yeah. the next thing comes is that you know i require a holistic care you know i want to discover my mental patterns which are which are leading to diabetes what are my stress levels what have, if i'm sleeping healthy i want to understand my body's physical fitness because if my body certain body parts are not fit and physical fitness means your heart and lung capacity which is aerobic fitness True. it means your flexibility it means your strength uh, i want to get assessed on that because if my body is fit my body will insulin resistance will improve and my diabetes will yeah. come under control now digital therapeutics allows all these kind of experts to come under one platform so that you don't have to go anywhere in pandemic in lockdown and uh, you know stand in queues waste your time all this is available at a click to you you save time on travel you save time on uh, you know you save money on travel all records and data are available to you if you want to show it to your doctor you can just download a report and go to your doctor show him the data and so and so if there's a great psychologist in delhi and i want him on my platform in bombay mm-hmm. it is agnostic to the location right similarly yeah, for the patient yeah. as you rightly pointed out we have some patients from sweden some from uae some from singapore some from usa so 90% are from india but getting the best care is possible now you are not True. restricted by geographical limitations whether it's from the expert's point of view or from the patient's point of view i think these are the these are really big advantages of technology and uh, specifically digital uh, therapeutics platform true true i completely agree with that because uh, you know i have a lot of friends in the us and uh, they keep telling me about the kind of uh, uh, the healthcare system that they have and uh, the the expense that they have to shell out basically you know a lot of money for uh, getting these kind of treatments and uh, with these uh, digital platforms like fitfly and others uh, of course you know you, you can't um, i mean you don't have to be in that particular geography to get treated you can be anywhere in the world that is what i really love about this and and i would really like to see you know more and more programs from fitfly so guys uh, go check out uh, fitfly.in uh, we will definitely put down all the links in the show notes below don't forget to check out uh, dr arbinder as well we'll put down his linkedin profile as well and if you need any help any sort of guidance uh, from fitfly uh, don't uh, feel shy reach them out or you can reach us out as well we'll uh, help you connect with them and their team uh, so before we uh, close today's episode uh, dr binder uh, please share a few tips that people can use or utilize uh, to get started in their uh, you know journey of uh, health and lifestyle using digital platforms um so again a wonderful question because you know we all keep talking about health and health uh, since i think march of 2020 health is on everybody's mind we have all realized yeah. that uh, if you are unhealthy whether you have heavy weight whether you have diabetes you are more prone to get covid and multiple yeah. other illnesses so i think the time to invest into health is absolutely right just remember a few tips one is that just calorie tracking or doing exercise is not uh, digital health right you will get enough number of apps there which will tell you calories which will give you exercise sessions yeah. it is important that before you engage with a digital health platform you look at the holistic nature because just doing a excess of exercise and not focusing on your nutrition is going to make you unhealthy or just watching your calories and not looking at micronutrients how much of zinc you are having how much of iron you are having how much of omega 3 vitamin c which are so important for immunity your eye health your skin health your hair health please watch out for those things so uh, when you get started check if the platform which you are engaging with is giving you a holistic care is giving you a complete care uh, for your body which which you so rightly deserve and uh, what kind of data are they giving back to you is it meaningful data back to you or is it just a vanity data no yeah. vanity data is that you know uh, okay you know you slept for 8 hours you consumed 300 calories and you exercise 300 calories that's vanity data but how is it relating to your healthcare condition like for diabetes you need to have so much of calories or for pregnancy in third trimester you need to have so much of omega 3 or zinc that is the relevant data for you and then what kind of experts they have on the digital health platform is it is is it having some kind of doctor validation is there is there some kind of research which they have published is there some kind of data of outcomes that they really made a difference to people's life out there uh, you know this these kind of things are very important when you get started on a your digital health journey but uh, even if you do not have an access to this data please ask your doctor about it what is the right kind of digital health platform available ask your friends around do a deep down research and then uh, if you have a health condition then definitely you should go to a platform which has some kind of outcomes research and data published 
but if you are just wanting to you know know your body better and you do not have a chronic health condition then engaging with a platform which is giving you holistic advice around nutrition mental well being as well as physical fitness is the key to uh, you know get started on a right platform i swear you know the 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 key takeaway for me is the vanity data versus useful data you know i can look at my apple watch and see oh you know congratulations you did 10000 uh, steps today but uh, what do i do with that you know what do i do after that I yeah. think that's really that's really interesting because uh, unless that data really speaks to you and uh, improves your life helps you improve your life I mean of course the data won't do it itself but uh, if it can uh, help you in any way I think that is relevant data that is useful data so guys definitely uh, go check out fitterfly.in and reach out to Dr Arvinder if you have any uh, questions regarding holistic uh, health holistic wellness that is really key because uh, i feel that uh, 2021 like you rightly said uh, since 2020 we started talking you know in fact on the socially desi show also we started talking about mental health we started talking about you know taking care of your health lifestyle and and this was what uh, was on everybody's mind because we saw the, how this whole pandemic can really take a toll on your health and we realized that you can have less beers in a week and uh, you know spend that money on uh, having multivitamins and omega 3 you know have these uh, things which can and really I wanted to add life. something here i yeah, want yeah, to add sure, something sure. very interesting so i i realized a very uh, very important thing with my uh, so the software which we built that is called personalized glycemic response mm. that how much your mm-hmm. body's blood sugar rises after each of the foods which you eat and i'm talking about like thousands of food which a person eats so yeah. i realized with beer my blood sugar rises above 150 but with whiskey it does not <laughs> so, so see guys you get you get you, you get such good recommendations as well you know if, what sort of uh, you know uh, drink you can have <laughs> so that, i thought that's it was really relevant <laughs> no it, it is it is i think i think it's really interesting and uh, to everyone i'm sure because uh, people who love drinking i mean if they can have some sort of a getaway uh you know uh, while maintaining their health why not <laughs> i'll take that any day <laughs> wonderful wonderful so thank you so much uh, with that dr arvinder uh, thank you so much for being on the socially desi show it has been a lovely uh, you know experience uh, you know listening to you and talking to you and i'm sure our audience on the socially desi show would have gained so much and they would have taken so many good takeaways from today's episode thank you so much Thank you Anurag it was a uh, wonderful interacting with you and to all the listeners thank you very much for listening in So that wraps it up for today folks if you like the episode give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and let's go viral Remember our weekly podcast features episodes on personal growth mental health relationships business and entrepreneurship and health and fitness we would love to have Dr Arbinder in the show again to talk more about the world of fitness and health So if you haven't yet done so hit that subscribe button and go check out our website at sociallydesi.com and as always before i sign off remember life is black and white and everything in between <laughs>